Hey, this is TerraToots with a quick tutorial on creating a basic road in TerraGen 4. Today, we'll look at how to use the warped simple shape shader to create a long, winding road through a smooth valley. It's important to note that this method doesn't give much control over the precise road placement, so it's better for building a scene around the road rather than adding a road to an existing landscape. We'll start out in the default scene, where we'll start by replacing the default terrain with some smaller hills. Delete the starting terrain and add a new power fractal terrain. We'll set the scale to 300, the lead in scale to 1000, and the displacement amplitude to 100. We'll also adjust the roughness to 0.9 and the spike limit to 0.2. This should give us a rough, hilly landscape for our road to wind through. Now, we'll create a new simple shape shader for our road. Let's make it long and wide, 2,000 by 100,000. We'll give it a smooth step edge profile, and we'll change the edge width to 1,990 meters. If we open the shader preview, we can see that this gives us a gentle fade with a brighter center. We'll name this Road Mask. Next, we need to warp the mask. We'll do this by adding a warp input shader and plugging the mask into the main input. Into the warper input, we're going to plug a power fractal passed through the export of a redirect shader. What this is going to do is to take only the side-to-side -side waves of the fractal and apply them to our mask. Let's adjust the fractal for a larger wave. We'll use a scale of 300, 1000, 150, and we'll set the displacement amplitude to 500. We'll also stretch the noise in the X direction by 1000. Next, we'll use a color adjust shader to intensify the mask and use it to create a long, winding, smoother area for a road to run through. Attach the output of the warp shader to a color adjust. Bring the black point to 0.42 and the white point to 0.5. Now, attach the color adjust to the mask shader input of our terrain and check Invert Mask. Now we can see the start of the path where our road will run. Next, we'll add some color to the road surface. We'll take the output of our warp shader and pass it through another color adjust shader. This one we'll set to 0 0.499, 0 0.5, which will shrink the shape down significantly. Next, we'll create a new surface layer and apply the adjusted mask. To flatten the road a bit more, in the Smoothing tab, check Smoothing Effect and set it to 0 0.1. Now bring the color down to 0 0.05, and if we enable shaders in the preview window, we can see the beginnings of our road sneaking away through the mountains. In the next video, we'll cover adding road markings and adding vegetation along the side of the road. 